okay so hello everyone i'm akash and i welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install kali linux onto uh, raspberry pi 4 so i'm using raspberry pi 4 and with 4 gb ram that is the maximum that you can get so i'm going to use that for uh, this video and i'll show you how you can install kali linux onto that so now let's get started okay so here as you can see that i have this folder so here are uh, the files that uh, are going to be needed so i have downloaded this uh, kali linux image file so this is a zip file and i have extracted that uh, image uh, which you can see here so i have downloaded this uh, file from the kali linux website here uh, is the first link that we are going to go in and if i scroll down then in this section uh, i'm going to click on this button that says kali arm images and here uh, i'm going to go into this uh, raspberry pi foundation and here are uh, the images so the one that i've downloaded is this one that is of 64 bit and it can be uh, used with raspberry pi 3 and 2 and 4 as well so i have downloaded this one so you can download this directly uh, onto your browser or you can use uh, a torrent uh, for that as well and i'm going to uh, give the link for this and all the softwares that i'm going to use in this video down in the description so do check them out and now what uh, we have to do is we are going to flash this image onto uh, an sd card so i am using a 32 gb sd card here so this is uh, right now empty and if uh, yours is not then you can just go into this format option and you can format your sd card so after uh, formatting your sd card uh, you will uh, need to download one software that is win32 disk imager so let me show you win32 disk imager so this is uh, the software that uh, you will need to download and i'm going to give the link for that in the description as well so this is the win32 disk imager now uh, my pen drive is of uh, the label g so here it has automatically detected that and now i'm going to select the image file so in the desktop here is my image file i'm going to open it and here is my image so i'm just going to click on write and yes so it is going to write this image onto this uh, sd card and after this is done then we are going to insert this sd card onto uh, the raspberry pi and we are going to boot this up so i'm just going to skip this okay so the writing is about to complete and yeah okay it's uh, successfully completed so now i'm going to just exit it and as uh, it is an uh, dot image file that is the img file so with these files the partitions are automatically going to be created and uh, we don't have to install kali linux it is going to be already an uh, installed version of kali linux so we just have to insert this uh, sd card into the raspberry pi and it's just going to straight up boot into kali linux so i'm just going to show you that in a minute so before that i want to show you what is inside this img file so if you have the 7-zip software installed on your system then you just have to uh, right click and uh, you'll see an option for 7-zip and then open archive so here is uh, what there is inside uh, this uh, img file so there is a dot fat and then uh, one dot image so what this dot fat is uh, let me just show you onto my uh, uh, sd card that i have just uh, written so i'm just going to open up this manager 
and I'm going to go into disk manager and let's go down here so this is my uh, 32 GB SD card so here as you can see this first uh, 100 MBs of uh, fat 32 partition so this first one 0 dot fat has created this partition and this uh, one dot image is written onto this 6.4 GB partition and rest is just set to unallocated so when we write this kind of images they just create these kind of partitions so that is what i wanted to uh, show you guys and now i'm going to just eject my uh, sd card and i'm going to insert this uh, into my raspberry pi 4. okay guys so here i have my 32 gb sd card and i'm going to insert this into my raspberry pi okay so i have inserted my sd card onto my raspberry pi and now i'm just going to boot it up so i'm going to connect uh, the power cable and my uh, monitors hdmi display port okay so now let's boot it up okay so it has started okay so it has booted up and as you saw that we didn't require to uh, go through the installation process and it just uh, went on to uh, the login screen so here we are just going to log into using uh, the default username and password so the default username and password is root as the username and password is tor t double o r and login and let's see okay so as you can see that we have successfully logged into our kali linux so now uh, first of all let's just straight away go and uh, test the feature that was introduced in this uh, new version of Kali Linux that is the undercover mode okay so here I'm going to search under so here is uh, the undercover mode okay so yeah this is uh, the undercover mode now let's switch back under and click on here okay so yeah it works uh, fine so this was uh, Kai Linux uh, 2019.4 running on a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs of RAM okay so that is how you uh, install Kali Linux onto Raspberry Pi so this was a pretty basic installation as compared to what we do onto a desktop. So here uh, we didn't need to uh, go through the installation process and we just got uh, the Kylinux readily installed and booted up onto the Raspberry Pi. So I guess that's it for this video. So if you like this video, then do hit that like button and do share this video and also uh, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another video. And so that's it for this one. And I hope to see you in the next one.